Hello all, welcome back to the tutorial of C programming for beginners. Hi, this is Akti Aron, I am tech student from NID Patna. I am technically supporting the missile engineer. So far, I have given various type of operators in C. In this lecture video, I am going to explain you guys uh, what is an assignment operators and what are the operators present in uh, as an assignment. Okay, and I will be explaining with some more examples. Okay. So, uh, in an uh, in assignment operator, uh, basically this assignment operator is uh, should have a modified L value. Okay, so the difference between the L value and R value I have already explained uh, in one of the video. Okay, so basically uh, what is L value is whatever the operand which is present in the left side. Uh, before the uh, before the assignment, okay. Say I I give one more one example like a which is equal to two, okay. So if I say that a is in the left side, then that is L value. This L value should be a modified L value, okay. So like if sometimes uh, there is a non modified L value is there. What does that means? If uh, there might be a uh, qualifier like const would have been used, okay. So at that time you can't modify this value at any place. So once this value is assigned, you can't modify modify it okay so that's what non modify l value so but in in here uh, i am uh, for this assignment operator we should have uh, modified uh, l value okay which can be modified here if you if you can't modify it then the compilation throws error okay so the next thing is uh, be the basic format of an uh, uh, the basic for format uh, for this uh, uh, operator is uh, I, it's here like operand and then operators and then again an operand too okay so basically uh, this format look like in here say i i give an example here uh, we say that a which is equal to b uh, b plus c okay so here plus is an uh, uh, arithmetic operator okay so I, I am giving a statement like this instead using like this uh, or if i say a equal to a plus c you can use a equal to a plus c or a equal to a plus 2 if you use this type of things suppose if you want to uh, instead of using this as a format what you can do uh, sorry this is wrong uh, example but this is a current example okay so yeah okay let me redraw again such that you'll get a better understanding uh, what i'm going to say is uh, if i say that a which is equal to a plus 2 okay so what you try to do here suppose if i initialize the value as 0 so uh, in here the arithmetic operation will be like 0 plus 2 and the value of 2 will be assigned to a okay so instead writing in this format we can do like a plus equal to 2 okay so what happened here this uh, this is an operand 1 okay and the same operand 1 is used here and this is operand 2 okay so uh, that's a format here if you see here the operand 1 is a equal to operand 1 is a okay a and the operator is plus and the operand 2 is we have here as a 2 okay so i i mentioned here as 2 so instead of writing in this format what we can do we can use this format okay so uh, what is this format is operand 1 is a and operator is a plus which is equal to and the operand 2 is 2 okay so writing in this format is similar to writing in uh, this format okay so that is the, uh, the, the that's what this arithmetic operator tells okay uh, with the assignment operator okay so this is this is the best example for assignment operator uh, you can also relate it with this example i i have used a plus as operator but here it's a division operator so uh, we, instead of writing in this form we can now write it in this form okay so this is the assignment operator okay so here uh, that there, sh there shouldn't be any uh, uh, space between the uh, two short and assignment what does that mean is if you uh, if you try to use any space between this and this okay so that throws an error okay so there is that should be any simple space between them uh, simple white space between them like uh, like if i say that a uh, divided and then i give one space and if i say two then this throws an error okay that shouldn't be any space between them that should be com uh, continuously written uh, division and then equal to okay so that's a current uh, format 
so if you try to give some space in there then the compilation throws error okay so here the next thing is uh, suppose I, I say that a which is uh, a divided or equal to okay so uh, now if suppose the a is in a flow type okay then whatever present in the right side should be automatically converted to uh, flow type because this is a say this is 4.2 okay and this is a, this should be uh, automatically converted to 2.0 okay because the whatever the values you give in the left side based upon its data type the right side value should be uh, converted okay so um, uh, in this case it's it's converted from integer to float so it's promoted okay in case if this is integer say uh, say I, I give another example okay uh, in, in, in another case if suppose the left uh, left operand is in uh, uh, integer okay the a is integer and you try to uh, you try to divide that with a uh, with a 4.2 float okay then uh, say a is 8 value okay 8 is an integer so then what happens is this is an integer type and this float type but the left side is an integer type so this should be automatically converted to integer so in this case what happens is 8 is divided by 4 and the result is 2 okay so integer value will be stored again back to the a okay so that's what mentioned here the uh, uh, if two different uh, if two operands are of different type like here it is integer and float then based upon the left operand the right value is converted automatically maybe either it's a promotion or demotion promotion is like from integer to float or double anything uh, the demotion is converting from uh, like float here to uh, uh, integer okay so that's what demotion so this is uh, uh, this actually uh, like a overall of assignment uh, assigned operator because uh, whenever any uh, any expressions you are taking as an example uh, say uh, say the example which I have already taken here uh, it's a uh, this one say uh, a is it's equal to two okay so whatever the result you are getting again you are assigning back to the a okay so this is this overall uh, expressions is again like an uh, value assignment okay so that's what mentioned in uh, this point okay so these are all uh, these are all the uh, operators of an assignment uh, assignment operators okay let me explain uh, one by one the first thing is an equal to one but this equal to is nothing but whenever you are initializing any variable you assign the value right int a equal to phi or something else so this operator is for assigning the value okay so the next thing is it's a uh, it's a uh, starch equal to okay so here if i say a starch which is equal to uh, 2 then in this case what happens is it, it is nothing but a equal to a starch 2 okay so the value of a is it's declared here 5 so 5 starts 2 which is 10 so now the value of a is modified to 10 okay so from a to uh, the value is now 10 so that's what this is a uh, this is a assign uh, product value now let us move for the next thing uh, it's it's a slash and equal to okay so this is actually a divisible one so this is a division uh, operator how this happens is suppose i say same a equal to okay now uh, i change the value as an uh, mm, uh, okay i give like a 5 suppose the a is a value is a 10 and uh, this is a 5 okay so 10 divided by 5 is 2 now a value change from 10 to 2 okay so that's what divisible operator uh, in divisible operator we mainly uh, store the quotient value uh, whereas in case of modulus value we uh, we store the reminder okay so here if it is a, a modulus of which is equal to uh, 2 okay if i say like this then the a value is 10 okay uh, and the a 10 modulus of which, which is equal to 2 means then what happens here uh, it, uh, it's uh, the value is 0 okay so that is uh, the remainder comes as a 0 so the value of a is now become 0 okay so the value is modified now the next thing is it's an addition operator uh, for an addition operator say a plus equal to 2 then if we if, if already the a value is a 5 uh, if you are declared as a 5 then what happened here is uh, uh, 5 plus 2 equal to 7 so a value becomes 7 okay so this uh, this what happens uh, with a plus operator and the next thing is minus operator in minus operator as the a value is uh, a value is 5 here so 5 which is uh, if you are if you are doing minus here so 5 minus 2 is 3 so value of a will be modified as 3 okay so the, the, uh, that's what that's what it tell here okay so the, now this minus is over the next thing is an uh, and operations 
basically in bitwise and uh, which i explained in uh, uh, in my previous lecture video okay so in in, in a bitwise and if i if i say that uh, uh, if we use a ampersand equal to uh, if i say that uh, uh, one uh, so what happens here is if, if suppose a value is a phi okay phi ampersand one which means that if a is uh, one zero one this is for phi and for one it is zero zero one okay so for doing and operations that should be um, both both values should be one if any one of the values is zero then it's zero okay so this is one why because this both were one and this is zero and this is zero this is because one is one and another is zero so uh, if any one of the input is zero the uh, the resultant value will be uh, zero so this is exact uh, so phi ampersand one the result will be one so one will be again stored to uh, a okay so this is what and operation does that uh, in case of an or operations how this happens is uh, if a are equal to one so if a is phi it's one zero one and for one it is a zero zero one okay so now if you compare here for or operations for an or operations if any one of the input has a one then the output is one okay so here both is one so it's zero and if this is one so the value is one okay so the value will be five five will be stored to a this is what happens with the or operations okay so uh, in case of an uh, xor operation if both inputs are equal if both operands are matching then the value is zero in case if it is not matching then the value is one okay so i'm taking the example of two and five if suppose uh, if suppose a is already uh, initialized as a five so a xr with the two then what happens here is a is one zero one and the two is uh, zero one zero okay so uh, when both were differs it's one and this differing and this is also differing okay the result is seven so seven will be stored to a okay so this is what uh, uh, with the xr operations the next thing is uh, uh, okay the shift operators uh, one is left shift and another is a right shift okay so if i say that a is left shift uh, with one point if say the a value is 4 then it's uh, 1 0 0 0 okay so what i'm telling it it should be shifted okay to left side so shift this one to one side here so it become one and this zero comes here and this zero comes here and adding one more zero okay for this space so it become eight okay so uh, now this is over now in case of a right shift what happens you, you for a same example of a four okay let me take the same example if you now we are moving to right side if i take the uh, four now we have to shift by one bit so one zero 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 i'm shifting to one bit so it's zero one zero okay so this value is if i convert that it will be two so it, it is it's from four to uh, two it got uh, it is divisible by two so uh, if uh, it's like a divided by two and in case of a lips, uh, left operators then it is like multiplied by two okay the result uh, whatever the input you are giving the result will be like multiplied by two uh, in case of a left shift in case of a right shift that will be like divided by two okay okay so in my next lecture video uh, i will with, with the, all these operators whatever i explained with the examples i will explain with the same concepts in the c program okay so if you guys have any doubt or comments please post it in the comment section thank you all for watching this video